ते साइड राहुल मगन है यार एस ए ग्रुप चीफ एक्सेक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ट्रेसी कंसल्टिंग एंड आल्सो आ पेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट टुडे आई वुड बी कवरिंग अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज रियली वेरी हॉट नाउ अ डेज एंड प्रोबेबली वुड बी मोर हॉटर और हॉटेस्ट यू नो इन माय पालेंस in 2023 to me 2023 would be a year of transition transition in the sense financial markets fundamental review of trading book is coming 1st january 2023 basel 3 is getting mandatorily effective october 2023 libor would thoroughly be phased out by 2023 there are many many other regulations who are up to upgrade in 2023 but the two powerful nuclear bombs are definitely fundamental review of trading book who is already deferred two times and basel 3 as we speak not many countries of the world are basel 3 compliant not many countries except few like us few european countries like singapore uh luxembourg and few asian countries like singapore here also everyone is not basel 3 compliant that is also a fact one of the important things that coming in the picture after both of them would be live the early adoption adoption is already always welcome just like the world saw in case of ifrs so the early adoption is always welcome is x weird x X stands for valuation adjustment. As we speak, there are thirteen X Vs. Just like we have credit valuation adjustment, CVA, debit valuation adjustment, margin valuation adjustment, funding valuation adjustment, capital valuation adjustment. and many now these valuation adjustments are unfortunately very very biased why we have many asset classes of the globe we have when it comes to asset classes the world is having a consensus which is fcc fi means fixed income currencies and commodities in fixed income you have hell lot of instruments you have equities you have bonds you have mutual funds and what not currencies not to mention you have near about 189 currencies of the globe which includes deliverable currencies and non deliverable currencies commodity you have agriculture commodity you have gold silver diamond uranium iron ore coal and what not and now you have crypto because goldman sachs few days ago did the first otc otc stands over the counter trade of a crypto contract this is the public information i don't know who is the counterparty probably few days after few days we have this information in the public i let you know but this is a very conducive news i would say for crypto that goldman done with the first otc contract now once we have more information in the public i would let you know about more thing because i'm planning a specific video in that regards now when it comes to xva they behave different in different asset classes so example today goldman sachs do investment banking swap 
with JP Morgan. Now here, they have CVA. It is not that they don't have CVA. They have DVA. They have FVA. Suppose, example, Goldman issue COCO. COCO means contingent convertibles. The same issue came to Goldman. Suppose today Goldman's hand issue ELN, equity link notes. There is a risk. Suppose today Goldman issue an interbank limit of 1 billion to JP Morgan. There is X-ray. Suppose today Goldman take 1 billion of gold position. All these are hypothetical examples. They have X-ray. And X-ray differs when it comes to prop book. Prop book means the proprietary book and the client book. Anyways, very soon FRTV is coming and lot of talks are going to happen on the social media. Treasury Consulting will bring the own views. Now, when it comes to the XVA, one of the important things which we need to learn is that the highest XVA. XVA. Basically, I would say the XVA having more weight. It is either in the equity space, especially when you do huge investment banking swaps, or it is in the currency space, or it is in the commodity space. But in commodity space, XVA are more weight. Rather, I would say a huge capital, huge risk is required. So example, ABN Embro, BNP Paribas, and there are many other banks who winded up their commodities lending or their commodities desk in Singapore and worldwide. Information is there on the Google, you check yourself. Now, since they winded up because of huge frauds happened by various companies, they issued fake invoices, fake exports, fake imports, and took a huge money from the banks. And thanks to the volatility because of Russia and Ukraine, whether it is a natural gas or whether it's a oil or it's a silver, they all behave behaving like a senseless guy. This creates or this increase the hedging cost of commodities. Now, since this increase the hedging cost of commodities, it directly impacts the XVA. Now, the XVA is nothing but part of the pricing. Not in all senses, just like FVA. In case of funding valuation adjustment, it's a part of your balance sheet and your PNL. So let's take an example, hypothetical example. Today, Goldman wanted to take a position in gold. And they are fine investing $2 billion. So they take it three for the sake of example. Suppose Goldman got the interbank credit line from HSBC regarding that. There is a CVA on HSBC. There is a DVA on HSBC, so would be Goldman Sachs. But the most important thing, the gold position which Goldman is taking, assuming they are expecting gold to touch 3000, what would if gold came down to 1750? No one knew. In that sense, they would get a substantial hit in balance sheet and PNL. And this substantial hit may trigger many issues. You know what I mean. In that sense, the XVA becoming more and more relevant. Because the way they behave in a that in a in, in, in a commodity deal by Goldman, they won't behave. The similar way if Goldman would have done the, the currency deal. Could be forward contract, could be an option contract, the long dated forward contract, long dated option contracts, and many more things. 
and this is the beauty of the game now i would like to read something for you there is also a large concentration of a right way risk in the energy markets than generally exist with traditional assets indeed much of the activity in the otc market stem from hedging activity of counterparties this adds further complexity to the calculation and have a significant impact on any resulting xva number i have a difference of opinion because it's not about hedging in the over the counter market there is an arbitration also which is called non deliverable forward it's also done in the otc market it's a bloody live example of arbitration and sometimes speculation failing to recognize a right way risk can lead to a dramatic overstatement of the counterparty credit risk associated with a given position or portfolio this is very technical hence what this video is not for all guys today the banks those who have multiple asset classes like FICC sooner they would land into a big soup because one side the fundamental review of trading book would be live when one side you have trading book other side you have a banking book and then the basel 3 would be live worldwide which means if you are interacting with the counterparty so just take a simplistic example if goldman sachs interacting with any italian bank who not seems to be on basel 3 but goldman is on the basel 3 so goldman don't need to upgrade themselves they are already on the basel 3 but soon that italian bank needs to upgrade themselves which increase the cost of that asset class the hedging cost in that system which would definitely impact the pnl of both the italian bank and the goldman sachs and ultimately cost moves to the party the client and what the hell client do client push the same cost to the product so ultimately the customer pay i would like to conclude this video there are two kind of risk we have one is the right way risk and one is the wrong way risk now just give a very simplistic but a complicated definition right way risk is when you have exposure of 1 dollar assuming and the movement of the currency brings a conducive which means it's a kind of linear stuff but wrong way is non linear and unfortunately if you look at the 10k of the banks practically speaking it is not at all not at all possible to judge whether they are on the wrong side or they are on the right side take my words sooner or later this xva with the all 13 would have a deep soup for the banks and when i speak about xva god forbid if there is if the volatility in the markets would continue thanks to the geopolitical factors the russian war and all these in that sense it would have a big trouble for banks and of course it would have a big trouble for systems whether they are proprietary systems designed by the banks for banks or whether they are treasury management systems legacy based treasury management system murex and calypso or maybe others or whether they are excel based solvers or excel based products think carefully more such interesting videos on xpa on the cards this is rahul bagan from treasury consulting group You know my personal number, which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Alternatively, our back office plus nine one nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. We are here to cover the topics which no one thinks to cover. 
have a great time. Thank you.